Welcome to Dee's Kitchen. We are making breakfast this morning. Um, so we're trying this new recipe. Um, got our bacon fry in, but we don't need that for this. So we are just removing the crusts from our bread and then we are rolling them out flat as we can. We canned apple pie filling in the fall, so we are going to be stuffing this. It's like apple pie stuffed French toast, I guess you could call it. So we're just gonna get these all flattened out and ready to go. And as soon as our bacon is done and out of the way, we will move on to that. So we wanted to show this step here quick first. Get these all ready to go. All right, so we have our black French toast breads ready to go. Crust will save for the birds or the dogs. The dogs always eat it when I throw it out for the birds, so whatever. Somebody will eat it, we won't let it go to waste. So we will be back shortly as soon as we get on to the next step. All right, next step here, we got one already frying. We have our apple pie filling that we canned this fall and we are just putting some down in our bread. This is a little tricky. I haven't figured out a way to do it without fingers, but oh well, it'll work. And then we're just dipping it into our egg, milk, regular French toast mixture. And we're dropping it on the seam side down into the butter that is uh, melted butter. Another one here. A little too much maybe in there. Dip this one. Cover it up good. Put the left side down in there. We just thought we would try this. I've been wanting to try it for quite some time. Um, there's an actual recipe which we will link it to um, on Facebook that uh, I had saved, but we had our own pan pie filling, so I wasn't going to cut up my own apple and do all that stuff because I have all this to use. So, another way to use it than just apple pies. Just my fingers quick. Mm -hmm. Put the second one over here and come right up here, buddy, and check these little guys out. Yeah, first one, sorry about that. Put on there. I'll wait on that fourth one because I just did him. Let's check the top of the first one here. Maybe. Get in there. Oh, yeah, he's about done. Looking pretty good. We'll give them another uh, 30 seconds or so, and then we'll show you the final result here as soon as we get them done. Thanks. All right, we have some done. They are they're just kind of draining them off a little bit. We did about three minutes per side. Um, last one might not be quite ready yet. So we will let those two sit. Then we are gonna just take them and roll them in a sugar cinnamon mixture that we have ready here. Just Guess what you want? We did about a, I don't know, half a cup of sugar to a tablespoon or so of uh, cinnamon. What did I? I think I said that backwards. Anyway, whatever. Sugar and cinnamon mixture. However you want to mix it, and then lay them on your plate. And a little bit of syrup drizzled over. This is going to be like a sugar high for day to day, I think. And then of course we have some fresh fruit. And there is Isaiah's breakfast. We'll probably make him some eggs, too, on the side. So thanks for stopping by Dee's Kitchen. Have a great day.